Amesh Sakharam Benekal joined the Indian National Army and was chosen to join the Tokyo Boys to train as a fighter pilot. He went on to attend the Imperial Japanese Army Air Force Academy in 1944. However, before he could complete his training and join active operations, the war ended. He would go on to fight for India in the 1965 war and the 1971 war. His wife, Meera Benegal, will be joining me on the broadcast today. Air Commodore Ramesh Sakharam Benegal was jailed by the British for being a member of Sebastian Rabose's Indian National Army. He was also called Tokyo Boy for he was in the INA Tokyo Kara. The Japanese had selected him for training in the Imperial Japan Air Force Flying Academy during World War II. Benegal was a natural choice for the Indian Air Force participating in the Battle of Longevala for which he was honoured with a gallantry award. Now, as his wife Meera Benegal talks to Republic, she shares her wish to present his uniform and medals to Netaji Museum. The life and work of Air Commodore Ramesh Sakharam Benegal fills us with pride. Yes, we're proud to be Indian. And ladies and gentlemen, joining me now as my first special guest on the Proud to be Indian series is Mrs. Meera Benegal, wife of Air Commodore, late Air Commodore Ramesh S. Benegal. First of all, happy Republic Day to you, Mrs. Benegal. I hope you can hear me. This is Ornob here. Yes, thank you. My best I wishes. Wish you My best wishes to you as well. If you can just switch off the television set which may be near you, then there won't be an echo. Oh, I don't have anything near me. Okay, okay, good. Okay. Uh, Ms. Benegal, can you tell us a little bit more about late Air Commodore Ramesh Benegal, who was known to never return from any mission of his without having achieved his objective in full measure? Could you tell us a little bit about his role in the INA? <coughs> INA? He was a cadet, uh, one among 35 uh, cadets, and he was chosen personally by uh, Subhash Chandra Bose uh, to the air wing. And from Burma, he traveled and all over the to Japan. I don't know very much, but whatever I know, he has written in his the, the memoirs of his INA experiences from the uh, Burma to Rangu. From Rangu, he came to Japan and joined the Tokyo Boys, as called. Once the atom bomb, they were under training. When the atom bomb was, and everything came to an end. And that's the time they heard that Subhash Chandra Bose had crashed in a plane accident. And they took his ashes and kept it in the temple, Renkoji Temple. That is, and then now also the Japanese are honoring uh, Subhash Chandra Bose on his birthday and his anniversary day. My husband had gone to Japan as on their um, in invitation, and he had met all the some of the Tokyo boys from India had gone to Japan, and they had a wonderful time there, which was given by the Japanese people who were followers of Subhash Chandra Bose. When, uh, after the atom bomb, they were taken uh, prisoners, and they were all youngsters of 16 and 17 years. My husband also was very young at that time, and they were separated from their families. Only Subhash Chandra Bose told my husband when he met him that how his brother was doing in, yes. in his administrative staff. His second brother was in the INA with Subhash Chandra Bose in his office. 
and he told him don't worry i will tell him to write to you and all that no when he knew that there were no letters coming for him from anyone else and then when they were taken prisoners they were taken all over and then sent to india as prisoners of war at that young age and of course he was very much taken up with subhash chandra bose and always wanted to follow his footsteps and he did whatever he could after his release from the uh, ina uh, yes. as a prisoner he couldn't join the uh, he couldn't join the oh god Okay uh, can you can you hear us ma'am uh, I can hear ma'am, you quick. but this has this has gone off from here connecting the same ma'am there's one question we wanted to ask you this is upon uh, you wanting to give away his medals to the Netaji museum what's the no, thought no. behind it uh, no no there was no thought as such i don't know who told you all that uh, we wanted uh, i wanted to give his medals because his medals are much more precious than even diamond jewelry uh, those uh, medals which he has got one is for mahavir chakra during the 71 war and uh, beginning of uh, uh, january 71 he was given the ati vishesh seva medal he couldn't have been given a mahavir chakra or any gallantry as during peace time his work was reconnaissant and uh, they can't give a citation uh, in the peace time that he has gone to the enemy country or any such thing he was not even allowed to write his memoirs in the air force though he wrote um the ina memoirs has been written but not the air force and when he was trying to do it he was uh, he was asked just to write to the point and not the details of what his work was that is the thing and i would never never give his medals away for anything even if yes. you say you will trade with jewelry i will not do it see it's not only me but my children grandchildren all they are very very proud of their father and i also feel very proud because he was one of the ina tokyo cadets and then later on he did credit to the air force also by doing his reconnaissance work during the war and before and after the war also